wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of sweet friends welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Nicole Cole and I love everything home and decor I'm not one style I'm all styles if I like it I use it and I'm not a minimalist by no means so today we are working in our bedroom you can see right here beside me is our fireplace mantle and we're gonna do that area a little bit of decor on the bed on my couch and um, the little coffee table area but I can't wait to share what we've done in our master bedroom. So I have been looking at some pictures on Pinterest and let me just show you the pictures I've looked at. These are absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to do that in our room. So I was at a local thrift store or a local antique store, excuse me, and I found this beautiful, beautiful screen and it got me to thinking. So I'll link all of this down below, but what we did is my husband built the form for this right here and let me show you that. It is just a rectangular shape. It's made out of two by fours. So my first thing is I mounted this area and I'm gonna go through and show y'all pictures. I didn't do a very good video of the process of this, but I did do kind of a step-by-step -step of what we did. So I hung the back curtain Then my husband built the rectangular piece and I stapled that around the front. I had a friend help me with the curtain up top. So, so let me say this, I bought all of these, all of this curtain from Amazon. I had the curtain rod for the back. Then my husband, like I said, built the rectangular piece and we mounted that after I stapled this on, we mounted that to the, to the wall over top of my um, curtain rod. Then I have pressure rods on either side and I took my curtains and you can see it here. I did the face out on either side. So I kind of put them back to back like this and I put them on the pressure or the tension rod. This side curtains, all I did is I took a tension rod and I did blue the color blue the color and I just kind of put the backs on you can see that right there and I'm just gonna put it on. and that is what created these side panels then I took that beautiful beautiful screen that I found and I put it on either side so let me take y'all off and let's get a good close view The camera view from this way is so much prettier than when it is on my stand. And I'm so very sorry about that, but I think it's so, so pretty. So you can see this was a half of the screen. So you can see where my curtain is. So I just did that on my side and this piece on my husband's side. So I believe that it's absolutely gorgeous with this in here. I am still, you know, working slowly on this room. 
I'm loving the look of this. I can't get a picture of it without getting the fan, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I thought I'd add just a touch of fall on our bed, in our bedroom area. I thought y'all would enjoy seeing how we built this canopy top piece over our bed. So I was mentioning earlier, I bought everything on Amazon and I'll link that down below. I have probably less than $200 in all of this area here. We had the two by fours. I bought the pressure or the tension rods and all of the curtains. And then I had my friend help me with the top balance piece. So I have less than $200. I think that is an exceptional price for a beautiful canopy piece. I wanted to add a little bit of fall in our bedroom and I wanted to show you, I did buy one thing for fall this year and this is my one thing. I bought this pillow at a local antique store. You can see that on the back side, it's got kind of like a lace, uh, what would you call that? Like a doily. And then on the front, it's a print and then they applique beautiful pumpkins on it. Then they did a jute bow. So I thought this was beautiful. It looks like they just did a quilt cut in half and made, or you know, cut and made front side, back side a little different, but it is so, so cute. And I wanna put that on the center of our bed. This area over here is our mantle area. And I've kind of just thrown everything up here. So I need to fix this and I thought we could do this together. The first thing I'm gonna do is just clean everything off and get a clean slate. I went ahead and draped my garland piece and all I did is I just stuck this behind this column area, just one, and set it up there as such. And that way I'm not making any holes on my mantle and it's really, really sweet. I bought this pet, this piece from a local uh, thrift store not long ago, and I thought it was so sweet, and I think I'm going to use that in the center. I could easily add me a um, piece up here, but I don't want to do that just yet. So now I'm going to add in my everyday pieces. Some books. my sweet willow pieces. Now I wanna add in some glue. little bit of this greenery. I just slapped myself in the face with it. I have me a little bit and then it's very inexpensive greenery and I thought just for a pop of color. I really love that there. It goes really well with the orange pumpkins that I have down here. Let's drop down below. So you may have seen this before. Down below, I have a ch little chicken nesting box. This is not a nesting box, so this little chicken coop. I actually had this as my coffee table at one time. Thought it was really sweet here. I'm almost thinking I wanna do something on top. I have this sweet piece that has a little bit of the blue in it. I think that's really cute on here, but I want something inside the basket. So this is what I've come up with. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, so I wanna open the piece. little 
blue and white bowl inside, hopefully. Some greenery. Some more greenery, some pumpkins, some wood, and just like that, I love it. I could add more greenery. I have these pieces here to make it I really like that. So right here, I added a little tobacco basket, some horns, a little bit of greenery, and my blue and white with a pumpkin. On my great-grandmother's couch, I had this really sweet denim jean pumpkin that I added. Put a basket on the foot of the bed with a little basket with the lace. I think it kind of matches the lace on the pillow um, on our bed. And then let me step back so y'all can see how sweet all of this is. Sorry for the room being so dark. I did buy another rug to match my, my old rug to extend it further out. My plan is to buy two more chairs in a print to go out here. But I'm loving the look of this bedroom. Still kind of contemplating on what I want to do on this side. But then on this side, we decorated the mantle together, did the little um, chicken box down below with some pumpkins. Sorry for the lighting, guys. With the pumpkins and the greenery and just a little more of that inexpensive fall color in my basket over there. And then we did all of this together. I think it's really simple for me and so, so sweet. Once again, as we look at this bedroom, my plan, and this is what I have been thinking, I have been noticing that a lot of people decorate with the tartan plaid with the blue and white. And you know, I did that last year in our dining room. So my theme for Christmas this year is going to be plaid. I'm going to use a lot of the tartan, a lot of the red tartan, the white tartan, I guess is what it's called. I'm gonna use the black and white, the gray and white. I'm gonna mix it all together. I want it very, very homey, very old time. So I have bought me new bedding to go in here for Christmas and I'll share that with y'all here. I think it's gonna be gorgeous in here. I need to decide where I'm going to put our Christmas tree in here. You know, eventually we'll build a wall kind of where I'm standing and I'll put our TV over here, so maybe it won't be so in your face. But I love this setup. We are finally coming along in this bedroom. You know, when you buy a house and you slowly redo it, it takes a while to get a feel. It's like the room has to speak to you. And I feel like this room is speaking to us now. And I am loving every bit of it. Thank y'all for joining me today. Thank you for, you know, supporting me in this little endeavor of doing a YouTube channel. I have loved every minute of it. Love sharing all my little antiques and finds and things with you guys. So hopefully we'll get to finish up on the kitchen and we can do a fall tour because I am getting so ready to start for Christmas.
nothing. 